Welcome again to Praise, Praying with us in City Reaches here in San Antonio, Texas, and we welcome every one of you. Come on, we're going to pray today. We're going to lift up our hearts and our voices, and we're going to extol the Lord. You know there are a thousand things to give thanks for. Amen. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. Amen. Father, we just come before you this day. Lord, a glorious day, a day where we know you are working in the earth. You are doing your will. Lord, it is being accomplished in the nations, in our hearts, in our city, in this nation. Father, we just thank you for the will of God being accomplished. I thank you, Lord, that your spirit is running ahead, um, quickening hearts. Lord, I see you running ahead, quickening people all over the nation. Lord, you are stirring up a place of prayer which has even been dormant for years. Lord, you are stirring it up. And Lord, you're not just stirring it up for a moment, Lord. You're making people become consistent in that place of prayer. And we give you praise. We give you worship. Precious Holy Spirit, you are so faithful, Father. We, you are so faithful. And we thank you for stirring prayer, stirring intercession serving those who across this whole nation need to have their hearts quickened just to know you to love you to pour their hearts before you and so father we come here today giving you thanks worshiping you glorying in you because you're a great god and father you've got all things under control and there's nothing outside of your control you are going to do your perfect will and we praise you lord i thank you father that these days are the days for revival the days for stirring up the dry bones the days of john the baptist father the days father when the tr uh, trumpet sound is calling we say yes lord yes lord yes lord because the the even the uh <laughs> Virgins are being wakened up because they can hear the sound of the trumpet. The bridegroom is coming. You are coming, Lord. And Father, we see your church being quickened and being wakened. And Father, we give you praise today. We give you worship. We say, Father, you're glorious. You're magnificent. You're the mighty God. And Father, I'm just overwhelmed to think that you would use the likes of us <laughs> to speak your word into our hearts that Lord we would be empowered to speak it out of our mouths and Lord that we could even agree with the things that happen in the heavenlies oh God that our hearts could be knit with your heart these things are overwhelming but we just give you thanks Father for the completeness and the glorious salvation that you've given us knitting us together making us one with our God and we worship you today in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I'm just Hallelujah. reminded as I was praying, you just reminded what the, the psalmist said. What is man that you are <laughs> mindful of him? And Lord, that, that's that same wonder. He mm. asked that question, like Eileen has just prayed. What are you, why are we listening to us? Lord, you just have done something amazing that you will listen to the likes of us. But Lord, we want to thank you that you've opened a way for us where apart from you, there would be no way. Mm -hmm. For us to come into the presence of Almighty God, to talk mm -hmm. with you, yeah. to know that we can have an audience with the King of Kings yeah. and the Lord of Lords. And not only that, but you are actually listening and you're listening so that you can do what we've asked and you want to do it. Lord, we just are so uh, blown away with the open door that you have given to us. Yes. And the, the fact that you have invited us to come to this place and lay everything before you, there was nothing that mm. you said that we cannot ask of you. Mm. And so here we are today, Lord God, with our hearts full of gratitude because yes. of who you are, with our hearts full of uh, us praise because of who you are, what you have done, and what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we want to thank you because you have are raising up people all mm -hmm. over the world to do your will. And Lord, we can touch every one of those things from right here, this place of prayer. We may be sitting in San Antonio, Texas right now, but we are really in the, in the spirit realm, in your presence, from this place, Lord God, we can touch anything. Yes. Yes. And we want to thank you, Lord, that we know, according to the word, that you have a very long arm. And you said it's not too short to say. No. You can reach anywhere, any situation, at any time. And you can touch anything. And Lord, we want to thank you that you are able to do that. Yes. And we thank you, Father God, that we can call on you yes. and know that you're hearing us and you will respond to our yes. cries. 
And we bless your holy name. We do. And we thank you, our God. Oh, we bless your holy name. Your name, Father. Lord, we thank you that we are included, but we, but, uh, but we are. We, yes. we are included. Yes, and we Lord, are. we just want to show up for that. Yes, we want to be there. We want to be with you and be on the same page, Lord. Yes. We want to be uh, doing what you're doing, doing what's on your heart, doing what's on your mind, Lord. We do thank you that people are awakening and being quickened, yes. Lord. We, the reason we know that is because we feel it ourselves, yes. Lord. Yes. And we know that there's been a shift. Lord, and a shift for the body to awaken and a shift for yes. the body to participate yes. with heaven and yes. the kingdom right now so yes. that the kingdom will come to the earth. Amen. God, through our through <laughs> our um, through our relationship with you, because we know what your what's on your heart, Lord. We're we're your friends, we're your bride, we're your church, Lord. And we know the heart of God, and we know the times that we're in, Lord, and we are so thankful. We are so thankful, Lord, to be able to be yes, your mouth yes. on this earth, oh, to be your heart, your yes. hands, yes. Lord, yes. on this That's earth. Right. Yes. God, and we just cry out to you, Jesus, Lord, God, as the body, you. as the bride, Jesus. Lord, as your friends, Jesus. Lord, that you would use us. Use us in power, Lord. Yes. Use yes. us to blow away the plans of the enemy. Yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. Use us, Lord, to... to um, to, for your to so that your heart is expressed mm -hmm. on this earth lord use us we yes. pray we cry out yes. lord it's time for the body to be useful mm -hmm. in the name of jesus oh, amen that's right. amen that's right and lord when you poured out the holy spirit on the day of pentecost father you said that this power when we receive the holy spirit was to be witnesses first of all witnesses to you mm -hmm. in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. And Father, this day we come before you and we want to be those who obey the scripture. Mm -hmm. And Father, we say that we want to pray first of all for our Jerusalem. We want to pray for our city here, yes. Lord. Our location where you placed us. Father, you put our feet here and you've given us responsibility here yes. where our feet are. Yes. And so, Father, we come before you on behalf of this city. And, Lord, we love to stand in the gap on behalf of this city. Yes. Lord God, because we know that when we stand here, and Lord, when the intercessors across this whole city and others, Lord, join them too. Father, as we stand in the gap on behalf of the city, you will not destroy the city. Lord God, you will have mercy and you will, you will turn with compassion upon us, Father. And Lord, we believe that we see that already, Father, in your eye, you have an eye of mercy upon us, Lord God. You're looking upon us in that way. And Father, we want to thank you, Father, for what you are doing in our city. And Lord, today we bring to you, Father, the initiatives that are taking place in this city. Yes. And we bring to you this, um, this uh, Crusade 300 that's going to be happening in October. Yes. Lord, an evangelistic crusade in the Alamo Dome. Father, yes. an incredible step of faith, but we bring it to you this day, Father. Yes. And we say, fill the Alamo Dome. Yes, Lord okay. God, call the hundred there but Lord we do more than that Lord we with our prayers today we will stir hunger yes father we speak to the lost of this city we speak to you and we say be hungry for the living God yes Lord turn from your sins yes. Lord seek him whilst he may be found Lord let their hearts be opened up let them be warmed towards you Lord let there be a seeking within the heart of the lost of this city and Lord God let them find the solution the only solution in Jesus Christ I pray, Father, for an activity to take place in the whole of this city which will stir up the body of Christ for evangelism, Father, for speaking up the word, for, for communicating with those who are lost, for an expectation, Lord, that those who are lost will be seeking you and that, Lord, there be so much fruit. Father, Father, I'm looking for the day, Lord, when the great harvest is pulled in in this city. And, oh, God, we, we pray for this Crusade 300, we yes. say, Lord God, 
if this is one of the harvesting means, Father, use it, Lord. Yes. Quicken the church to be involved. Yes. Quicken those, Lord, with finance to be involved. Quicken those, Lord, to who will bring the lost in there. Quicken the lost to come. Yes. And Father, quicken the organizers, even at this time. Give yes. them wisdom from yes. on high. Yes. Give them divine connections, Father. Lord, that which will cause this thing to fly, to move ahead with ease. Mm. And Lord, I pray for the pressure of, of, of work and pressure of decisions to be lifted off Jimmy Robles. And I pray, God, that he will walk in peace. He will walk in the grace of God in the midst of this. And that, Lord, you would grace him with everything that is necessary yes. for this time. Yes. We commit him to you yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. So, Lord, we do commit that entire initiative to you because we know that is fulfilling prophetic destiny in this city. Yes. Not only for the city, but for those in the city that do not know you. Yes. Those will be the dates when they will come to know the living God. We decree that. Yes. We declare that. We say yes. those who do yes. not yes. know yes. you, yes. may you begin even now to move on the hearts of people who they show them how to get to the Alamo Dome. Show them that that's where they need to be on those days. That's where they will find the living God. We pray that you will draw them, that you will lead them, that you will provoke your people to go out and get them there. We pray, Lord God, that you will intervene um, and that that was what will happen because you are going to move on the hearts of people. In Jesus' name, all the different things that are happening mm -hmm. to, to raise us up before you, the prayer meetings that are happening and all the different places and radio stations that is happening. And we say, draw the people who need to be there in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let your anointing be there. Yes. Anointing to save, anointing to deliver, anointing to set free in the name of Jesus. Mm. Yes, and Father, I, I pray that evangel, evangelizing, Lord, is the fisherman's net, mm. uh, Lord. And uh, we know that numerous people, including Eileen, has, have dreams of nets um, mm. across the city. And so we pray, Father, that this is a time of uh, net working, yes, and yes, yes. bending, Lord, and uh, net connecting, yes, Lord. Yes. And so we just uh, yes. we just want to speak that out, Lord, Amen. that the net be, yes. uh, be be begin to be uh, um, uh, readied, mm. uh, Lord, for that for this time that's coming, Lord. And we know that it has to be uh, mended. It has to be. Um, put together before October. It yes. has to be, it needs to be worked on now, Lord. Yes. So, and so that's what Eileen, Natalie are praying, Lord, mm -hmm. that things are in the works, that the yes, net is yes, in the works, yes, yes. that things are being um, knit together and tied together yes. so, um, so that when the day comes, when the time comes, Lord, the catch will be heavy, the <laughs> catch will you. be full, Hallelujah. the catch will be what you intend, yes. Lord. And we just pray that it be um, it be something exponentially more than what we could ever think or imagine yes. for this city, God. Yes. Amen. Well, we even say that the, what was seen in the in the scriptures on that beach with Peter in that boat yes. is a foreshadowing, if you will, of what will happen here. Mm -hmm. That he cast it, the Lord said, cast your net on the other side of the boat. Yeah. And he casted the net, even though he wasn't catching anything, he cast he casted the net anyway, because at the Lord's word he did it. And as according to the scripture, there was such a, a catch that there was he needed other hands to help pull in the catch. Lord, oh, we say, Lord, may you have such hands on that hands, net bring the other in hands. this city that the yes. catch of bring souls will be so hands. large that yeah. the other hands will grab the around the net Lord. and they will all work together to pull in the harvest of souls for the kingdom of the living God. We say, let that be the case in this city, San Antonio. Let you yes. be glorified when this happens in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. Father, I just see as we're praying about the net that um, that as the net becomes clear to people, to the church here in San Antonio, that there's an urgency of heart yes. to take hold of that net. Yes, Lord, I just I just feel that it's mm. it's uh, you, there. It, it's like. Uh, I don't know. It's it's almost like an emergency, an urgency yes. uh, to grab hold because 
because if you don't grab hold, it's not going to come, and you're not going to get the catch, mm -hmm. and people's lives are in the balance, mm -hmm. Lord, and 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 I just see that it, uh, that that it's it's going to be clear that they that people need to grab hold and hold um, a part of the net that that um, mm -hmm. for the whole catch to be mm -hmm. caught. Yes. In Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Father, I just ask you, Lord, for even those who are holding off at this point of time from praying and being involved or financially committing, I pray, Father, you speak with them. Mm. Speak with them. And Father, I pray too for effective evangelists also to connect with yes. this. Lord, I just pray for them to come in and Lord, to be... Um, co-workers here. Lord, I just I want to pull a net, Lord, a net of others, Father, to be assistants and workers and evangelists, givers, supporters. Father, we pull that company at this point. And we say, Father, we believe this is in your heart. Lord, I thank you, Father, for the gift of faith in Jimmy Robles. Father, we just say encourage him, strengthen him, and Father, we defy the works of darkness that would want to uh, discourage him or pull him down. Mm. And Father, we just say we, we support him in our prayers this day, and we bless this man in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. And Father, we just pray over this city also in many other respects. Lord, as we see this happening, Father, we know that's your heart. But Lord, your heart is being expressed in a, a thousand and one other ways, Lord, also yes. in this city at this yes. time. Yes. And Father, we just want to bring all the works of God in this city to you, Lord. We think of the, many of the churches, Lord, who are, I sense, Lord, like a, a flower beginning to open up. Lord, the sun is shining, and Lord, they're beginning to respond. And Father, I pray, Lord, even at this time, Lord, some of these churches that have not sort of looked out of the out of into the city, Lord, before, but have only been concerned within their own house, Lord. I pray, Father, for a new message to go forth, yes. and Lord, that uh, there'll be a strengthening of the body of Christ to do the works of ministry, Father. Mm -hmm. I pray, Father, for the uh, fivefold ministry gifts within some of these churches and across this city, Lord, to, Lord, train the people, Father, to raise up those who are the workers, Father, to do the work of ministry. Mm -hmm. And Father, we, we just commit this all to you, Lord. We know that you're working on many fronts at the same time yes. throughout this city, Lord. Yes. You are raising up your people, Lord, in all manner of spheres. I thank you, Father, for uh, larger churches getting involved and, Lord, for the money that they possess, Lord, to be loosed into the purposes of God in this city. Yes. And, Father, Lord, you know what's going on. Your eye is scanning our city mm -hmm. because, Lord, you've got a purpose for this city. You've got a vision. And, Father, I pray that the vision of God will be the vision in our hearts, Lord, mm -hmm. and that, Father, we wouldn't be diverted from you from into our own visions, Father, away from that which is yours. And Lord, I pray for a selflessness to rise up in the people of God, that they would seek their own thoughts and plans and desires, Lord, into that which is your thought, your plan, your desire. And Lord God, that there will be such a unifying work in the spirit, Lord, across the church in this city, Lord God, because, Father, we're all seeking the same thing. We all want your kingdom to come. We all want glory to Jesus' name. And, Father, we're all going to do the will of God on earth as it is done in heaven. Amen. And, Father, we would cry up to you, Lord, for a seeking of personal agendas. Lord, um, personal plans, Jesus. individual plans, ministry plans, all kinds of plans which are just going to be walking a bit out of step with what you are doing, Lord. Mm. And we say, draw it, Father. Yes. Pull it, Lord. Yes. Pull it by your spirit yes. into what you are doing so that there will be a unified body, a collaborating body. Lord, yes. not just, just not all doing the same thing, but Father, all expressing who they are in total unity with the Godhead yes. and with unity with one another. 
Amen. Lord, it's not uniformity. Lord, it is true. part of our prophetic destiny as a city, uh, as a church of the city, because you have already declared that one new man, the one new man will be raised up. Oh, in San yes. You had Chuck Pierce declare that many, many years ago. So we say yes then, yes. we say yes now. Yes, yes. And we see people moving and shifting into position to be able to be the fulfillment of that word. And Lord, we know that every prophecy is for a set time in the season, and we'll be calling that word into fulfillment now. Yes. And Lord, even as we pray for Crusade 300, Lord, we also know that there are other things that are happening that are going to be a build-up to that. Lord, even next week, this very next week, there is a training uh, at the um, Gospel Conversation Training on the 18th and the 19th of this very month. Yes. And Lord, people can go there, be trained, and be prepared, be made ready to be use a few evangelism right here in San Antonio and I want to thank you for people yes. finding this on the SACLF uh, Facebook page and, and, and signing up to go for the training and really um, looking to you to, to use them and all these things so the one new man can rise up in San Antonio yes. and bring glory and honor to your name I know you're going to do this Lord God yes, Lord. I know you're going to do this because it is time for these things Yes. It is time for all of these things that you have placed in our hearts to recognize that it is in your will for the city as a whole. Yes. And that we as a body of Christ will begin to do these things for your name's sake. It's yes. all for your glory. It's not for us. It's yes. for you. Yes. And Lord, I want to thank you for the heart of love for you and love for the city. Yes. In Jesus' name. Others pray. Come on. Let's stir up the prayer. Lord, we just thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We bless you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for what you're doing for the city. We thank you for all the plans that you have put in place. Yes. We thank you, God, for all the various things that churches are doing. Yes. We see Richard is doing. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all the schedules given up to this crusade and yes. even after. We thank you for the follow-up that after yes. churches yes. are going to be filled with people. Yes. We thank you, Father God, that there's going to be an awakening to God in yes, the city of San Antonio. That's right. that if there's going to be a revival that's going to overflow to the whole of Texas, all over this nation, even according to the prophets and prophetesses are prophesying, that when the revival comes, it's going to overflow into various states of this nation. And I believe that as it leaves the nation, it's also going to leave the going to the rest uh, the parts of the world yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Father God, I thank you that your daughter Cindy Jacob said the revival has already started. We're yes, not right. about to start. We it's already, it's already started. Right. So we are already right now in the revival. Yes. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, God. Amen. Move all your children, Father. Let everyone be connected. Let everyone have the fire in their bones, Lord, to rise up to this occasion and bring people to this revival in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, since this revival you said it has started, may it begin to overflow in all the churches now. Yes. In all the yes. churches, yes. Father. Let people mm -hmm. come from the east, the west, yes. the north, and the south. Yes to come to the, the church to hear the word of God. Yes. Let all the members of the church, all various churches become evangelists. Every one of us, yes. you call every one of us to bring souls. That everyone will start bringing at least one soul to church. If everybody, every Christian is an Antonio, but one soul to church every Sunday. Father God, in no time, the whole of the city will be, will be, will be filled, will be, will be changed. So Father, we thank you for what you're doing. We're excited, Lord. We're excited for what you're doing. And we bless you. We bless you for construing our little city, Lord, our humble city. Thank you for raising it up. Thank you for making San Antonio proud because of what you're doing for us. Thank you. We bless you, Lord, and we, we appreciate you so much for considering us, for thinking about us, oh, for loving yes. us so much. Pouring mm -hmm. your great love upon the yes, city. Thank, thank you for continuing us on the on this globe, Father. Yes. The little city that you are making great. <laughs> yes. We give you praise. 
Lord. We yes. give you praise, Lord, in Thank Jesus' you. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Father, we always want to remind you of the word over this city that it would be a model. And it's in that Texas or San Antonio? San Antonio. San Antonio will be a model right. uh, for the nation. And a prophetic and state. A prof and we're a prophetic state and a prophetic city. Yes. Yes. Mm. yes. And uh, so we just we just want to we just want to remind you. Yes, Lord. Yes. <laughs> That's all. Just remind you yeah. what you said, Lord, yes. and what you're doing. Yeah. Right. And um and that uh, you know whatever whatever it is that mm. you're going to do to cause us to be modeled and mm. be a model. Lord, we just we probably don't even know what that looks like, mm -hmm. and so we just we just pray that you're doing it, which is yes. normally the way you are. You're just you're you're working your way and your will in mm -hmm. us, in the church, in the body, yeah. um, whether we know it or whether we don't know it, Lord. Uh, but we just do pray that it is it, it is coming. It is mm -hmm. it is in the works of yes. your of your heart and mind for for the plans that you have yes. for San Antonio yes. to be a model to the mm. nation mm -hmm. and to the nations, Lord. Yeah. And we just declare it over our city, mm. and we declare that it is coming, it is happening, mm. it will happen, yes. and it'll. And so we just we just thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' Lord. name. Yes, Lord. And I want to just declare this word over this city. Here in verse 8 of chapter 1 of Acts, it says, You shall receive power power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in we'll say San Antonio yes. and Father we decree that yes, over our city right. you sh church you, you shall, shall receive be, power shall when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall be witnesses yes. to this San Antonio so we speak to the church church of the living God in San Antonio wake up we speak to you this day. We say, open your heart to receive all that the Lord has for you. Lord, we say, move away. Move away from head doctrine uh, into experience of power. Yes. The power of the living God yes. coming upon you. We speak to you, church. Wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time not to have your heads filled with knowledge. It's time to do the works of Jesus. It's time to act. And the Spirit of God is coming down. And he will fill you. And we decree it. Be filled, church. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Power. Power. Lord, another word in that verse says receive power. Yes. And Lord, we know that re uh, being in receptive mode is, uh, yes. is uh, one of the most important things that we can do yes. as a Christian. Lord, to to receive what's been done, to receive what you're doing, yes. to receive what's coming, Lord, and uh, and so we just pray that also, Lord, that we be uh, that we get a revelation of reception, yes. Lord, that that uh, how we do that, we we receive yes. with our spirit, we yes. receive with our heart and our mind, Lord, and uh, and because we have received. Well, it's like it's like the uh, when we say yes, God, and the Lord told me one time when you say yes, it's like a green light yeah. in heaven in yes. the, to the Lord. It's like it's like okay, I can move now because you're in agreement with me, Lord. But that has ha happens first with when we receive, yeah. and so let that be a part of our understanding. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for your word, you know, in Joel chapter 2. Yes. For you say, fear not, yes. O land, yes. be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done marvelous things. <laughs> Do not be afraid, you beast of the field, for the open pastures are springing up, yes. and the tree bears its fruit, and the fig tree and the vine yield their strength. Be glad then, you children of Zion. And rejoice in the Lord your God. Yes. For I have given you the former rain faithfully, yes. and it will cause the rain to come down for you. Yes. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Yes. The threshing floor shall be full of wheat, the vine shall overflow with new wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years. Yes. And the swarming locusts, yes. the, eating, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, yeah. and the chewing locusts. My great army which I sent among you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. 
and my people, San Antonio, shall and never be put, put to shame. shame. And then you shall know that I am in the midst of San Antonio, yes. and the Lord your God, and there's none other, and San Antonio, my people, shall never be put, put to, to shame. shame. And then it shall come to pass afterward, which is where we are now, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh in San Antonio. Your sons, your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also my maid, maid servants and my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Yes. The sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. It shall come to pass that whatever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. For in my Zion and in Jerusalem, they shall, and in San Antonio, there shall be deliverance. And the Lord, has, as the Lord has said, among the remnants whom the Lord calls. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. I claim this prophecy Hallelujah. over the city of San Antonio yes. at this time. Father yes. God, that all that you have said, yes. that the glory, the fire of God, like the, the, as we have read Acts chapter 2, Pentecost has come to San Antonio Hallelujah. in a new way. In the name of Jesus, people shall come from the east, the west. The north, the south shall come to salvation. This revival, it's 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 not just for the Christians, it's even more for the unbelievers, Lord. Because we are already saved. It's for the unbelievers, those who don't know you, those who are managing and struggling, meandering Christians who are neither here or there. They're gonna be established in this in this revival. Those who have never heard of Jesus, all have heard of him, have always pushed him aside, shall come. Running, shall come running to God. Yes, in this revival, mm. in the name of Jesus, yes. Muslims, atheists, those who don't believe yes. that oh. Jesus is Lord, they shall know Jesus. They shall call upon His name in this revival in this city. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And like I prophesied, that I declare that on the day of the rapture, no one will be left in San Antonio. No one. Because everyone is saved. Yes. They shall say, come and see a city. It's vacant. No <laughs> one is here. Everybody's gone. The houses are empty. The streets are empty. Because that is a saved city. Now, Father, that's what we believe for. And that's what we prophesy. Mm -hmm. Your word says, decree a thing. It shall come to pass. We decree that San Antonio shall be saved. All of it. In yeah, Jesus' Lord. name. And Lord, I decree even further, Lord, that as that we had the World's Fair here many years ago, and many people came to this city because of the World's Fair. We declare even now that there will be a new, something bigger than the World's Fair. That World's Fair put San Antonio, as it were, on the map in this city, in the nation. And we declare, Lord God, that as you move by your spirit in this city with revivals, with healings, with deliverances, that will be even bigger than the World's Fair. It will put us on the world stage in a whole new way. We decree that right here, right now, it's going to happen. And we say, Lord, let it be in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Dear Lord, we thank you for your yes. mercy, your grace, yes, your Lord. anointing, Lord. Yes. We thank you for your words. Lord, for months we have prayed for a prophetic voice. And you sent us in a in a span of a week three major prophets to the city. Lord. Now is the time for the apostolic design, Lord. Lord, rise up the architects. Lord, that we don't waste a day, that we don't waste a, a provision, that we don't waste anybody, Lord, to build your design for this city, Lord. Therefore, I ask you for two new things, Lord. Rise up a network of intercessors. Yes. Lord, rise up yes, a network yes, of intercessors yes, yes. combined by the Holy Spirit only with one agenda, the Holy Spirit agenda. Lord, rise up an army of intercessors, a network of intercessors connected in the spirit and connected in the flesh and connected in the agendas and connected, Lord, in the purpose, and connected, Lord, in the vision. Lord, we need a network now of intercessors. Lord, praying in one accord. 
And Lord, we also need now to rise, to see rise up the architects. And coming together, Lord, for bringing the blueprints of heaven for this city into activation. Lord, we don't want to see everybody doing their own job. Lord, bring the architects together. Lord, we need to recover the mayor's position. Lord, begin to strategize the church to recover what we have lost. Lord, we cannot accept that a demonic power rules the city and the actual mayor is demonic. Lord, we cannot accept that. I cannot accept that because the blessing will be cut for this city for a whole generation. And we will not accept that. Lord, rise up the intercessors with one voice. Lord, repenting and crying out for the rulers of the city. Lord, replace the mayor for a godly man or a godly woman. Lord, so that the oil can flow from the head down. Lord, we cannot waste a second anymore leaving the rule of the city in the hands of demonic powers. Lord, you told to Cindy Jacobs that you will break, Lord, uh, the, the demonic spirits of the ru political rulers and the religious spirit over the city. Lord, we have heard the voice. Now give us this strategy. An anointing upon the intercessors and an anointing upon the apostolic leaders or architects. Lord, to let us build the next election as the major task for the city. We need to recover every position of ruling into your hands. Lord, let the church come together as we have seen when Ivy Taylor was mayor how church leaders came together every month in accord. Lord, we have lost that. We repent for it, Lord. We cannot look away from it. We need that spirit to come back on unity, on intercession, on strategizing, on moving forward. Lord, wake up the church with the voices you have already given. The prophet has spoken. Now it's the time for the intercessors to do it in, in intercession and for the architects to design the, 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 the blueprint that you have showed us, Lord. Lord, that the labors can go into the labor, knowing exactly what everybody will do. The rise of the days of Nehemiah, Lord. Now is the season for the Nehemiah in the city of San Antonio. Lord, that the heads of the houses comes together, Lord, to build their piece of wall mm. so that we have the wall finished in a season of 42 days. Oh, Lord, we need that urgency spirit. Everybody rising up, Lord. We know there are Sambalats. We, we know there are Tobias, Lord. We know there are demonic forces that want to stop what you have ignited. But we know as Nehemiah's spirit comes up upon your leadership in the city, the heads of the families, Lord, the job will be done. In joy and in clarity, shaking all religious spirit away from us, Lord. Shaking all religious spirit from us. Lord, rise up the network of intercession rise up a network of intercession an interconnection a strong interconnection Lord and rise up the apostolic leaders in unity around a table and give us Lord a clear trumpet sound mm -hmm. to reconquer the major position on a man or woman that fears you Lord and that brings your kingdom down on city halls Lord with pain, we saw how this actual mayor refused to be on the prayer day. Lord, enough is enough. It's enough. Rise up voices with clarity of sound. 
without doubting a second to speak it aloud from the rooftops. Lord, we are not compromising your kingdom with anybody. And this city belongs to you. Yes. This city belongs to you. We have won a battle like in, in the days of uh, Jericho, but then we have also get, been defeated like in the days of hay. Lord, now it's time to rise up again and keep conquering the places of rulers, the places where your kingdom should be established on the seven mountains of the city. Lord, this is our commitment. This is why we are here. We want to see it. We, wanna, we don't want to waste our time in, in, in games. We want to see it happen, Lord, that the city is touching every ruling position. Lord, shake the church for it. Shake the church for it. Your prophets have spoken. Now it's time to act. Oh, Lord, we need a spirit of coordination. Lord, I'm asking you for a spirit of coordination, Lord. It's urgent that we coordinate ourselves in a cause that is bigger than us, in a cause that is bigger than our own duties, Lord, in a cause that is your cause. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's the spirit. Yes. When you send your spirit, you said, and you will be my witness. Yes. And that word includes my martyr. Yes. Lord, we are ready. We are ready, Lord. We are ready. We are ready, Lord. We are ready to witness you. We are ready to witness you. Cost it what it cost. But San Antonio is yours. Yes. San Antonio is yours, Lord. Yes. San Antonio is yours. Yes. Lord, we want to see the, the event in the Alamo Dome as a celebration yes. of, uh, of joy. Uh, amen. Directed from heaven, impacting earth, <clears throat> and shaking the city. Lord, shake the city also in the physical realm as a sign that you have spoken. We are ready. We are ready, Lord, in Jesus' name. children of God know that they have a part. You have your part. You always do your part because you said I'll never leave you nor, nor forsake you. You will never turn your back on us. But we have our part. Our part is to come out and vote and they did not vote. Please have mercy upon us. And Father, I pray for this election coming in November that they will oh, vote. God. That all the children of God in San Antonio will vote. If all the Christians vote, there's no way the devil can win over us. No. no way. No. Oh, Father, that if that we, we don't have this nonchalant attitude, you know, being naive and not thinking that our vote counts. That all the Christians, with every single vote of the Christian in San Antonio counts. That they, everyone will know this. Everyone, don't say, I don't care. You know, I don't care. You know. Father, we, we should care. Lord, let that desire to do right, desire to obey you, the desire to have the right person, grip us, grip the churches, that everyone will go and vote. Yes. Forgive us, Father, because we just miss a very great thing that you have for us. Forgive us yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. You have told us in your word in Romans chapter 12, to present our bodies as living sacrifices yes. to you. And that is our reasonable act of worship. You said that we need, need to do that in light of what you have done. Yes. And I pray that the people of God in San Antonio recognize 
that worship is more than just singing of songs. It's presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. That is our reasonable act of worship in yes. every area of society. Yes. Yes. Whether it's, re it's going to vote mm -hmm. or, or, or singing a song in church, whatever it is, that is our worship unto you. Raising mm -hmm. our family, loving our spouses, our children, all of that is worship. It's an mm -hmm. act of worship unto you. And I pray that we will all see the cares and the affairs of life as our, our opportunity to worship you in our doing of them. Yes. And that we will see, Lord God, that that is our responsibility for you as believers to mm -hmm. present our bodies as living sacrifices to you in every one of these arenas. Mm -hmm. And that, Lord, as we do that, we are then going to be a vehicle for you through whom your will can be done. And we pray, Lord God, that you will awaken us to this respect, to mm -hmm. this aspect of yes. life in the spirit. Mm -hmm. That is not just about prophesying and doing those things that are spiritual in nature, but doing those things that are spiritual in power. Mm -hmm. And I pray, Lord God, that you will so wake up the church in this hour that we will not take for granted anything that you have given to us to do, but we will see it all as an opportunity to serve you, the living God, and cause your will to be done in every one of those arenas. Mm -hmm. We will recognize that you have planted us in specific places to serve you in those places. And that as we are serving you, your will is going to be done. Yeah. And Lord, as we are doing yeah. that, you are going to link together those yeah. who have like precious faith, the yeah. like precious spirit. Yeah. And they will recognize they are part of our army that you have raised up in this city. And that as this army forms together, as we come together as a mighty army, your will is going to be done in San Antonio. It's going to be noise throughout the earth. Look what God is doing in San Antonio, Texas. Look what he's doing in the United States of America because of what you're doing in, in San Antonio, Texas. But we're saying that with all humility, not because we have some grandiose view of ourselves, but we're saying it because you've already spoken to us of what yes. your intentions are for this city, yes. what your intentions are for the body of Christ in this city. And you have already said you want us to impact the entire nation. Yes. And we know that as you impact this nation, you will impact the world. So, Lord, we say we know that what you're doing in our city of San Antonio is to impact the entire world. We say thank you. Thank you, Father, for empowering us. Thank you, Lord, for enabling us. Thank you, Lord, for envisioning us. Thank you, Lord, for using us. Thank you, Father, for hearts and minds and spirits being open to you and a ready yes to do what you're calling them to do. In every area, I pray that as Peter did in that day in the boat, that he heard you calling him, get out, come to me. He did the seemingly impossible. He walked on water. And Lord, you're calling us as a church, even in this very hour, to hear your, ver your yes, voice saying yes. to us, come and do this, come and do this, come to me. That as we do that, we will come. And we will do the things that before that seemed impossible, we will see them happening. Yes. Because we've heard your voice and we've responded. Yes. So I want to thank you for doing that. All thank over you, our city, in Jesus' name. I Amen. bless you for it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that even as you decreed and showed those many years ago, you have blueprints for this city. <laughs> and Lord, that you were bringing them down. And Father, we just thank you that those blueprints will be enacted. The purposes of the living God, your plan, and that alone, it will take place. Yes. And Father, I thank you for ears to hear in many, many places across this city. Yes. I thank you, Father, your spirit is running and is gathering, gathering those in different spheres of activities, Lord, so that everything that you have decreed shall be accomplished. Yes. I thank you, Father, for the gifts and the anointings that you poured out across this city. I thank you, Lord, for the identifying of those gifts and anointings. And Lord, I praise you, Lord, for those of like mind and like callings and like spirit, Lord, coming together. And I thank you, Lord, that you're going to wake up that which is even sleeping or has given up as despondent. Lord, you will wake it up and you'll wake them up. I just thank you for it, Lord. I pray, Lord, these are days. These are the days that you have ordained yes. to fulfill your purposes. And Father, I thank you for every man and woman of faith who's got great faith and is stepping out to do great acts of faith. 
I thank you for them. And I pray, Lord, that you will strengthen them and that you will encourage them. I pray, Father, that those who are called to be assistants within the acts of great faith in this city will hear the calling and will get alongside. Mm. Father, every great act of faith requires somebody who hears and does, but it will gather an army. Yes. And Father, I thank you for the gathering that will take place. Mm. I specifically pray, Father, for a, such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that the follow-up work of new believers yes. will become easy. Yes. They will be taught of God. They will be taught of God and will be established in righteousness and truth. And we speak that into new believers in the city. They will be established. We pray, Father, they'll become the next flood of, of witnesses. Lord, counting everything lost to speak the name of Jesus. Father, begin to do this incredible work within the city. We commit this all to you, Lord, this day. And Father, we agree with those things we have prayed. Lord, you're birthing this in prayer. You birthed it in prayer. Yeah. And we pray now, Lord, for such a, a harmony, a unity, a gathering, yes, of those who pray the same thing. And Lord, we just commit it all to you. And we just thank you and praise you. Yes, Lord. Even today as you pray with us, I want you to pray for your own city, pray for your own nation. Come on, even so, we're in the midst of huge things within our own nation here, with uh, talks gonna take place from North Korea. And Lord, we just pray in the name of Jesus, your hand will rest upon all those arrangements yes. and that Father you will have your outcome yes. from these talks and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem we pray Father for the, the um, calming of the activities there and Lord we pray for just you will clip the wings of Iran that Lord they will receive a, a severe blow that Lord God that they will have their arrogance torn away and we pray, Father, for the Church of Jesus Christ, which is growing rapidly in Iran, to so erupt that, Father, it begins to control the government with its prayers and its intercession. We commit them to you. We pray for the, the nations of the earth, Lord, that belong to you, that, Father, a great chorus of joy and worship will rise to you from every corner. We say glory to the name of Jesus. We bless you today. Amen. Can we pray one more thing? I, I, while we were praying earlier, and we weren't praying about Trump, uh, President Trump, but I, I, I heard Trump is a catalyst. And, uh, and I looked up the word, and it's an agent that provokes or speeds significant change or action. And, he, and you know, everything he's involved in right now uh, it, it is this, uh, he's provoking change and significant change or action mm -hmm. and so father we just pray for president trump lord um in uh that they're saying that the what's going on in israel right now is because of trump pulling out of the iran deal and uh and the you know the, the north korean all of it is is trump being a catalyst lord we thank you for that we pray that you protect him in his uh, decision making mm -hmm. lord give uh, that wisdom be around him for the purposes that you put within him lord we just we we are thankful for uh we don't understand him and we don't we don't understand uh what motivates him in particular lord but you say if you say he's a catalyst we agree with that that you are doing things through him and using him and we just thank you for it, Lord. And we just pray that your will and your way be done through our president, Lord, even uh, not just um, internationally, I mean, uh, in this nation, but internationally also, Lord, that he is a catalyst. Mm -hmm. We agree with that, in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Continue to pray with us. 
This is San Antonio, and we're praying, and praying for you too. Bless you.